Anchor today, restoring a calm, a tenuous calm to the economically crippled country after the embattled president emailed the resignation that demonstrators have sought for months. President Gotabaya Rajapaksa fled a day earlier under pressure from protesters, enraged by the island nation's economic collapse. He emailed his resignation a day later than promised. The protesters accused him and his powerful family of siphoning money from government coffers for years, adding that his administration hastened the country's collapse by mismanaging the economy. The family has denied the corruption allegations, but Mr. Rajapaksa acknowledged that some of his policies contributed to the meltdown. Italian Prime Minister Mario Draghi is to resign hours after populist coalition partner Five Star withdrew its support for a major confidence vote. The former head of the European Central Bank has led a unity government since February 2021. In a statement, he said the pact of trust that had sustained the unity government dissipated. The crisis in the EU's third biggest economy was triggered when Five Star leader of missiles hit an office block and damaged residential buildings. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky called it an open act of terrorism. Several dozen people were detained following the attack. Those are the international headlines. Stay with us. Major news comes up next at five. News on Radio Jamaica. You know, there's no channel for it. Four roads, a major concern. What about the trains that are in need of repairs or cleaning? Mm. Who is responsible for repairing the road? And when mm. will it be done? Good morning, everybody. Auntie Pauline here. So, I did not take you over the hill with me. I came up here. Got a little rest, get my face clean up, and gonna talk to you a little bit in our online devotion. So, before you forget, just hit the like button because I know you're gonna like what I'm gonna say. I'm about to say, just hit the like button and prepare to comment okay subscribe if you have not yet subscribed and share my videos all right now the intro that you're gonna see it's my journey yesterday home in the weather it was raining cats and dogs i was wet my foot was soaked but however i managed to get a drive with my brother I always drive with in the evening whenever it's going up my time so I was okay but the weather was very um you know it was not looking good so that's what I that's my journey yesterday evening going home all right so I'm gonna talk to you a little about the, our children and you know from time to time you hear me talk about our children you hear me talk about forgiveness and stuff like those i will always do that because i love kids I have five of my own five grown and i have six grandchildren so i love kids you understand so to begin long time you don't hear me sing, me sing so help me sing this song and remember for YouTube purposes this song is not mine it's copyright so I have no right to it sorry them 
to thee When earth looks bright and fair Festive and gay Lure them astray But from temptations for Lead them, my God, to Thee Lead them, my God, to Thee Lead them to Thee Listen to the intro As usual, the gate is not yet open, so I'm at the roadside, alright? Come on now. Yet though my faith be thee, I would believe that thou this precious gift wilt now receive. Okay, the young hearts now, leave them, my God, to thee. Lead them, my God, to Thee. Lead them to Thee. Amen. Lead them, my God, to Thee. Lead them to Thee. All right. So, as I said, I'm going to talk a little about our children, and that's our best inheritance. Our best inheritance. Satan is working hard, working very hard to steal. He's trying to steal, he's trying to kill, he's trying to destroy our children. And he is using every trick in the book to accomplish his goals. Yes, that includes alcohol, drugs, sex, movies, video games, and anything else that will take their minds off Jesus. That's what he's going to use to destroy their lives. There are so many dangerous outside influences that raising Christian children in today's world is more challenging than ever before. First, Peter 5 and verse 8 tells us that the devil walks about like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. Make no mistake, there is only one way to fight the enemy and that is allow to allow God to fight the battle the Bible says in Isaiah 49 verse 25 for I will fight those who fight you I will save your children this is a promise from God yes that we can claim our own children many times parents have failed to introduce their kids to Jesus and then when their children go up and turn from God they suffer with guilt instead of wallowing in guilt and despair prayer is necessary so pray this prayer with me dear heavenly father please forgive me for not being the parent you wanted me to be and don't let their rebellion against me cause them to rebel against you oh lord plead with me to save my children we can't pray too many prayers for our children listen to me god will honor the heartfelt prayers of parents even long after we have passed away so praying for our children is the best inheritance we could possibly leave them. Do you want me to repeat that? Praying for our children is the best inheritance we can ever leave them. Don't bother thinking you're going to 
um, you will out a big house build out the car so many money in the banks you will it to them that's their, their inheritance let me tell you something man the best inheritance yes that is good but the best inheritance you can ever leave the, your, to your children is praying praying for them right so may god bless us as we pray for our children this morning and may he guides their young minds, their young heart, so that they will walk in the newness of life and to follow him all the way. Heavenly Father, thank you for our children. Thank you, Lord, for our parents who have taught their children how to pray and how to love you. I pray, Lord, for those children who are disobedient. I pray, Lord, that you will speak to their hearts, touch their young hearts, dear God, and help them to be obedient children. Bless each and every one. Guide them, protect them, cover them under your blood. In your name I pray. Amen.